Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I'm caking Lloyd from Ninjago. I just need to get my costume on. <laughs> okay, so see, it's for a kid. What is this? This is so weird, guys. So Kirsten, who gets our props, got me a ninja costume, except it's a children's version. Oh, it fits like a glove. I can't even open this eye. Uh, okay. No, I'm not gonna rob a bank. <laughs> I'm a cake ninja. Lloyd is made out of nine pounds of my ultimate chocolate cake and Rice Krispie Treats. I'm just gonna preface this with the fact that this is one of the hardest cakes I've ever made. I honestly, this is so stressful. Jeremy was just watching and he was stressed. I have to build this cake in parts much like you build Lego. So I'm gonna start with his body, the mate, his torso which is made from cake. For this, I used a rectangular chocolate cake and I meant to cut it into three parts, but I accidentally cut it in half right off the bat. But I didn't let that throw me off. I just pieced it back together and cut it into three, layered each of the three parts into two layers. Before stacking the torso, of course, Sir Squeeze helped me simple syrup all of the layers of chocolate cake. Speaking of Sir Squeeze, because you know, this episode can't be all about Lloyd. We are actually having a flash sale right now at howtocakeit.com and this new Sir Squeeze is 10% off from September 14th to 18th. He has a tattoo of his own name. I'm gonna get a tattoo right here, Yolanda. <laughs> I filled them as three separate stacks with Italian meringue buttercream and then I layered the whole cake up. Now Lloyd's body is going to have arms on the side of it, you know, as torsos do. Keeping his Rice Krispie arms in mind, I need to layer his torso with two boards in the middle and these will help support the arms much later on, like days from now. How long does this cake take you? Four days. I had to take a weekend off from Lloyd. I might be a little more tan at the end of this episode. <laughs> Not any more relaxed, but more tan. Once I'm happy with Lloyd's torso, I give it a good crumb coat in Italian meringue buttercream and place it in the fridge to chill. What is funny? It just, you know when you I give it a thumbs up, I thought like the way you said crumb coat was like you gave it a thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs, I gave it a crumb coat and I put it in the fridge to chill. The torso is done. I love the word torso, it's really? so funny. <laughs> really? It Who says good? things like that? <laughs> I love the word torso. So I think you should get a t-shirt that says torso. <laughs> That's not creepy, right? Now I've got to move on to Lloyd's head, which is comprised, ooh, comprised. comprised. See what happens? I go on vacation, I come back, comprised. Lloyd's head is comprised of two five inch round chocolate cakes that I cut into two layers each, simple syrup with this guy and filled with Italian meringue buttercream and then stacked them up and then I crumb coated and chilled Lloyd's head. How come he gets a makeover and I don't? I think I should have a makeover. You could I not. think we should straighten my hair. I think you should put on that ninja costume that Kristen No, no, got you. I could do without that. Once the crown coat was set on both the torso and the head, I iced both of Lloyd's body parts and chilled them again. Lloyd's legs and feet and upper thighs are all made out of modeling Rice Krispies. So I basically just melt the marshmallows in the microwave till they're puffy, stir them into Rice Krispies until it's all combined, and then I begin to sculpt and press and condense that crispy mixture until I can cut it and shape it. I begin by molding his lower legs and feet. I make sort of one long brick, and then I make his thighs in a sort of rounded log. I set them aside just to set up for a bit so they're completely cool, and once they are, I then use a serrated knife to trim them perfectly. 
because Lego minifigures are very boxy. Very boxy. So I want everything to be nice and square. Once I'm happy with the shape of my legs, all the parts of the legs, I have to cut some boards uh, just for support. So I'm putting two square boards, one under each one of his feet, and then another board under his thighs. <laughs> So weird. I crumb coated my Rice crispy pieces just like a cake and really here we want to fill in all the grooves because Rice Krispies aren't smooth so we want to get that crumb coat into all the grooves and then chill. Our crumb coat and chill bundles are back in stock at howtokeikit.com. They include the new and improved Sir Squeeze and a bunch of other fun and helpful tools for crumb coating. There's a bunch of options so check it out. Now that the crumb coat is chilled, I want to ice my Rice Krispie parts one more time and get them smooth and ready for fun. I am ready. I'm not really ready, but I'm going to begin to cover all of Lloyd's parts with black fondant. I ran out of black fondant and I had to call Kirsten. Oh, wow. There was a 911. <laughs> It was a fondant 911. I needed ninjas in my kitchen to help me. That's what I needed. I should have requested that. For all of these parts, I cover them in pieces, rolling out my black fondant as I need it, covering the sides, trimming, then covering the top and the other side, depending on which part it is. But the point is, I covered them in pieces because I wanted him to remain nice and blocky and Lego-like. I was very anxious about making Lloyd for two reasons. A, I knew it would be hard, and B, my son loves Lloyd. So it's a lot of pressure. Ninja, go! I feel like I'm doing like the sad mom version of that. I am so excited about this movie coming out. I can't wait to watch it with my son. He doesn't even understand that it's not out yet. He asks me every day. It's not out yet. That's why we haven't gone. This was the Beyonce of cakes for him. Is this his Beyonce? This is his Beyonce, for sure. Lloyd. I mean, Lloyd, Beyonce, they sound similar. Similar names. Yeah, you know? I want to start building this Lloyd cake and get the legs upright, but first I need a proper board to support this cake. I made myself a big cake board. I covered the entire thing with green fondant, and then I rolled out some more green fondant, a little bit thick, so that later on I can cut the circles that are the, oh, we researched this, Jeremy. I don't remember what they're called. What are they called? Lego enthusiasts? The circles that come up and connect the Lego, they have a name. I'm gonna add those circles later, but right now I'm gonna begin to build Lloyd's legs on this green board. The first thing I need to do is place Lloyd's two legs onto the green board, and I need to place them as if they are stuck on. I use a little bit of royal icing to glue them down. The next thing I need to do is add the upper thighs on top of the legs and make sure everything is lined up. And now I need to send some wooden dowels down through Lloyd's legs. That must have hurt. Ow! I nailed them through the thighs and the legs down into the baseboard. Building Lego is way more fun. Make a mistake, pull it apart, start again. It's amazing. Cake. So now that Lloyd's legs are upright and secure on the board, I can measure and see what his waistline is like. Lloyd has a very fine rectangular waist. <laughs> I wonder if Lego figures feel like, you know what I mean? Are they worried? Am I square enough? <laughs> and I need to recreate that waist out of a board. So what I did is I made a board and then I glued thin pieces of board around the side and this will make it look like his legs come out of that waist and could move, right? They're very, you know what I mean? <laughs> We won't see the top of this waste board once the torso is placed on, but we will see the sides that I've created. So I roll out some black fondant really thin and cut some bands and glue it to the surface of the side of this board. Guys, there's a website called Brickopedia. 
That's how serious people are about Lego. Now I secure this board to the top of his legs with some royal icing, just making sure to keep it level and centered, and I just want it to dry before I add my torso. I'm making his arms out of Rice crispy once again, and his arms are always a little bit bent like this. He's ready. You know, he's... can't see your bent arms. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like a little bit bent, a little bit bent. Once I was happy with the shape of his arms, I crumb coated each one of them and chilled them and then I iced them again and chilled them. I cover both arms with black fondant I'm using the textured black fondant. What I used for the texture was just the same um, drawer mat that I used in my football cake. Ooh. What? I covered his arms in two parts as well, so I covered the, what do I call this? His wrist, his handless wrist at the moment, the end of the arm, and then I covered the rest of the arm with the textured black fondant and trimmed away the excess. I need to make Lloyd's outfit, like he's a ninja. He's not just wearing black. He's not some sad Lego guy, he is a ninja. I found a picture of Lloyd online and I blew up his torso and printed it so that I could have a template for myself. And then I cut out all the necessary parts to make up his ninja outfit. I add it to the torso with some clear piping gel and the help of my template, just for placement. So for the gold, it was yellow fondant and I'm gonna paint it gold. Okay, this is all making sense, yeah? Good, because it's a blur. <laughs> It's a blur. I need like, I need like Lego cake therapy. Does that exist? I do. If you're a cake decorator out there, if you've made a Lego minifigure cake, leave a comment below. I think we need to start a help group. We need to talk to each other. Cause I'm just talking to Jocelyn and she's laughing. And I need someone who understands. Leave the hashtag Lego cake woes. This cake took me four days to make. It is the hardest cake I have ever made on how to cake it. So please share this video. It will make me feel better. It will begin my therapy. What is that? <laughs> They're coming. It's the cake decorators. It's the Lego cake decorators. They're coming, they heard me. They've been crying for a while now themselves. And remember those boards that I built into the torso? I built two boards into the torso. Those boards are really gonna help keep the arms up against Lloyd. He needs his arms. So what I decided to do was use one long dowel pierced all the way through Lloyd's torso. Oh gosh. And then the ends of the dowel that are sticking out will support the arms. And now that my torso is completely decorated, I can add it to Lloyd's waist. Now I'm gonna add the arms to the torso. His arms are gonna be ready, ninja ready. Lloyd's hands kept me up at night before I even started to make Lloyd because they're like this, you know, and they're very thin. So I couldn't make them out of cake and I couldn't make them out of Rice crispy because they would've just been like, I'm a ninja. So I decided to use an empty saran wrap roll because it's sturdy, cardboard, right? It's the right shape. I had to puncture a hole in the middle of them. For that, I used an awl. A what? An awl, that's what it's called. A-W-L, not A-L-L. -L. And now I need to cover them in black fondant. So to do this, I'm going to brush them with a thin layer of clear piping gel. And then I rolled out my black fondant into pieces. And first I covered the inside of the little cup and trimmed the excess. And then I covered the outside and trimmed the excess. Remember that hole that I pierced through the center of my cuppy hands? I need to cut a lollipop stick and fit it right into those holes. 
So now there's like his little thin little wrist. And before attaching it to the cake, I am gonna wrap some bands of black fondant around that thin, thin wrist. So now my hands are ready to attach. I added the cuppy hands to Lloyd along the side of his body. Four days later, um, <laughs> oh Lloyd, your head. Lloyd's head made me lose my head. He's pretty much all covered in like black, not bandages, but like. <laughs> A bandana. <laughs> so to cover his head, I'm covering it in parts. First I cover the lower part where his mouth would be in a band of black. And then I cut out the space where his little eyes peer out because he's a very serious ninja. Then I had to build up his head a little. His head looks bunchy. It's like it's a bandana tied, yeah. right? So I added another piece of black fondant to the top of his head and made some marks in it to give it that effect. While this is the hardest cake I have made on the channel, I made some pretty hard cakes in my upcoming cake book, which I can't wait for you to see. It's coming out October 24th and you can enter to win your own copy. Head over to my Instagram, the handle's here, for all the details of my Yo Quotes contest. And I've rolled out some white, some brown, and some green really thin to make his eyes and his brows. He has a serious brow job. He has these lines here. They're very pronounced. But I did cut them out of fondant. Are you okay, Gil? No, I'll never be okay after Lloyd. <laughs> never. And finally, I have to make his green bandana. So I roll out some green fondant long enough to go around the circumference of his head. And I tuck in the edges a little bit to make it look like a folded bandana and then wrapped it around his head and recreated sort of the look of a knot with the two ends hanging down at the back. I think when I take my son to see this movie finally, I'm gonna have like nightmares. I might have to leave the theater. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'll be like, I need a moment. Every time Lloyd talks to me. So he's ready. He's got his ninja face on, you know? So with the help of some more dowels, I add Lloyd's head to the top of the cake. Okay guys, what is the character on Lloyd's bandana? I made it next. I had cut it out of yellow fondant, I painted it gold, and I added it to his bandana, but I don't know what it says. So if you know, leave a comment below. What does Lloyd's bandana say? I'm gonna guess that it's an L. Lloyd traumatized me. And Lloyd's a nice guy who saves the day, but he just didn't save my day. If you're excited to see the Ninjago movie as much as I am, share this video. Help ease my pain. Ninja, go! I'm a pathetic ninja. I don't have the energy to be a ninja. That's what I realized. I don't have a lot of energy. He does. I don't have the energy to make a ninja cake, and I don't have the energy to be a ninja.